Welcome to episode 5 of our Let's Play Championship Manager 0102 series on Boss United FM. In the last episode, we marched into the first round of the FA Cup and then won 3-1 at Hereford in the conference. We've only had a single match since. A comfortable 3-0 win at Chester City. We're still six points clear of Doncaster at the top of the table. Today, we continue the FA Cup run with a trip to Carlisle United in the first round proper. A big test with the Cumbrians being a level above, although they are struggling in 19th place. Unfortunately, we've been hit with a few injuries just lately, so Daryl Clare, James Gould and Lee Howarth are all ruled out today. Mark Monington and Mickey Brown are almost fit again, so we'd expect them to be available from the bench. Let's pick the team for today's game. Right, we'll stick with our 4-1-3-2 formation, which has done us pretty well all season so far. So we'll definitely stick Bastock in goal. Left back is going to have to be Andy Lodge. Right back is Steve Tully. Then at centre-half... Going to go for Freeman and Weatherston because Monington can come onto the bench. He's only 90% fit. In the last league game, I did play a couple of players who were 90% fit or so. I think Gould and Howarth were two of those. And then they both picked up injuries in the first half, so I'm not going to risk them from the beginning. Defensive midfield is going to have to be Ellender. He's in fantastic form this year. 7.67 average rating. Right in the middle, I think we're just going to have to continue with Costello, Weatherston and Marsh. And then up front, instead of Clare, who's unavailable, we'll go for Murphy and Charlery. Although Murphy is on 90%, but then he doesn't have a knock. So hopefully he'll be okay. We need to bring in the youngster, on the subs bench as a goalkeeper. And then Clifford and Monnington as defenders. Rusk and Long as midfielders. We'll stick Cook on the bench as well. I don't think he's played a game all season, to be fair, because we don't play wingers. And then David Town can be our substitute striker. Let's go to the game. Right, let's see if we can go ahead early and then maybe hold on. I think they did win their last league game, but we're in the best form of our lives. And even just to get them in a replay down back at York Street, that would be a positive. Halfway through the first half and there we go, we're picking up another injury. So Simon Rusk can come on for Costello, slot straight into that middle, and we'll carry on. Right, we're nearly at half time. Are we going to pick one up just before? No, nope, there we go, half time. Right, there's 9,000 people here. So that's a pretty good attendance. Hopefully a little bit of money in the coffers. Let's have a look at the match stats. So we're definitely ahead in terms of shots on goal. At four on target. Nine offside. So we're definitely attacking, doing well on the passes completed. Tackles won. And headers won. A couple of yellow cards and obviously that injury as well. Let's just have a look and see how people are getting on. So Weatherston's on a five. But the only midfielder at the moment on the bench is Andrew Long, who's the 15-year-old. So he might come on in a little while. But I don't want to really shove him on at half-time when I know that Weatherston can play better. So we'll leave it as it is. We'll kick off the second half, and hopefully we'll pick up a goal or two. Right, last 10 minutes or so, okay, I think this is going to be the time. I'm going to bring Town on 
for Charlie. Give him a chance. He's not played any game so far. And then I think I do bring Long on for Weatherston. Give him that chance. Make yourself a 15-year-old hero. Right, they're definitely attacking, but here we go. Is this the attack? Got a free kick. But nothing comes to it. Almost into stoppage time. They've hit one wide. They're coming forward. And there we go. Nil-nil. That's a good result, that. Right, Costello's out for two weeks. We've got an FA Trophy second round draw as well today. So... There's 32 teams to draw. I think we'll just draw them all. So we've got Stafford Rangers at home in that one. Hopefully that should be fairly straightforward. But then it's this FA Cup second round. So we're still in the draw. We've got a replay to play. Gainsborough or Lincoln. That was an interesting matchup. Garforth away. That's a massive incentive. You would expect us to go through against Garforth should we make it past Carlisle in this replay. Let's draw all those teams. And there's the confirmation of the cup draws. Stafford at home in the FA Trophy. And then a potential trip to Garforth in the FA Cup second round. Right, we do have a match at home to Yeovil, which is on television now, but I'm going to play this one offline and we'll come back for the replay against Carlisle. Well, there we go. Another victory. Home to Yeovil. But unfortunately, it's come at a cost as Mark Monnington has picked up an injury and is out for the next two weeks. Quite a few replays by the looks of it. Let's see what the news is. So Ken Charlie is currently on international duty, which doesn't help. Ross Weatherston, lack of match fitness. Claire's in light training. Howarth is back in full training. As is Mickey Brown. And then Costello back in light training as well. Right, let's have a look what kind of team we can pick today. Bastock, Lodge, Clifford. Freeman and Howarth, Ellender. So Costello's still not available. So Mickey Brown can play on the right hand side of the central three alongside Weatherston and Marsh. And then up front, it's going to have to be Murphy and Charlery. Substitute goalkeeper from the reserves. Tully, Weatherstone, Rusk. And it was Rusk who scored the winner in the last game. And then we'll go Long, Cook and Town. Here we go for a place in the second round. And we go ahead pretty early on. Mickey Brown, five minutes in. Let's see if we can get a second. They've got a corner, but it comes to nothing. But there we go, they've equalised. 16 minutes gone. They've just hit the woodwork. They definitely seem to be on top. We need to maybe do something in a little while. See what happens at half time. But we've hit the post. Can we nick one just before the break? 
Doesn't look like it, no. Right, we're getting half time. 4,700 attendance. Let's have a look at the match stats. So it's fairly even. Overall, we're doing really well with the headers. But everything else is about even. Let's have a look at the tactic. I think I'm going to bring Rusk on. He was the difference in the last game. I'm going to bring him on for Weverston. Doesn't seem to be playing too well at the moment. So let's kick off again and hopefully we'll get through. And there we go, 2 1 up, two minutes in this time. Jez Murphy. We've got another free kick, but it comes to nothing. Murphy went close again, We've got half an hour to go. And there we go, Clifford from fullback. 3 1. Right, let's have a look at the tactics, see what's going on. So, Charlie's not playing well, so I think that Town can come on for him. Last 20 minutes. Let's hold on, and there we go, there is Town with a fourth. We are strolling through into the second round of the cup. Let's make this final substitution. I think we'll just bring Weverston on for Freeman. And then just see it out through stoppage time. And there we go, full time. Fantastic victory. As we see that Lincoln beat Gainsborough in their replay. And we make a trip to Garforth, who have got through against Gateshead and Shrewsbury so far. So they're not going to be any pushovers. But got to be happy with that. We're marching on. And I expect that will be the next episode. If you enjoyed the content of this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you very much for watching. Uh -huh.